Come on, Marty. Got anything to say? You can't even defend yourself on this, can you? What's your name? This is what Mark Marty Rathbun has had to deal with for months. People showing up at his house and following him around with cameras. Rathbun says he's being harassed and that the cameras are just the tip of the iceberg. Behind that are teams of private investigators who look at my every single move and report them in every five minutes during the day and tell them precisely where I'm going to be so that they can plan their busts uh, so that they're, they're ambushes. Squirrel Busters Productions has set up shop in Ingleside on the Bay, renting a home just one street over from where Rathbun lives. We went to talk to the Squirrel Busters, but they had little to say. That's why we're giving you our side of the story with all of our information. Read it over. Give us a call. The production team giving us a copy of the pamphlet they've been distributing to the community. The pamphlet is filled with cartoon-like portrayals of Rathbun, painting him in the worst light possible and making defamatory allegations about his character. The mayor says the small community of Ingleside on the Bay doesn't appreciate the presence of the Squirrel Busters. The literature uh, that you have a copy of there, the magazine being delivered to everyone's house, they don't want it. They don't like having their properties filmed in, in background of the film crews. and. Uh, they don't like the idea of these people going around and, you know, following him so closely and causing these problems. Rathbun says he was a top-ranking official in the church for 22 years, but left in 2004 after observing what he calls a dwindling spiral with the leader of the church. He says he feared a Waco or Jonestown episode might not be far down the road. If anybody uh, has any kind of disagreement or speaks their mind or blows the whistle as to illegal conduct or, or corrupt conduct that goes on, they are attacked and targeted as I am being right now. Rathbun says he's being targeted for speaking out against the practices of the church. The sheriff's office says there's little they can do to stop altercations like this one until the law is broken, which so far it hasn't been. Sunshine is the best disinfectant, and so I'm hoping that the more uh, their conduct is exposed, that at a certain point they'll see what fools are making of themselves to the American public and uh, we'll do the right thing and go back and go at least try to pretend to be a church. In the meantime, this small community is caught in the middle of this religious feud. Marty, you can't do that. I just did it. Mike DeSilva, 3 News.